Welcome back human beings from the planet Earth. This is a chicken coop upgrade and a free tip, carpentry tip, uh, for the rest of you. Um, and it's something we should have probably been doing from the beginning. But I want to show you how adding a small block of wood turns your average wood outdoor building from a seven to eight year building because of rot issues into a 20 year or more building uh, again. We're going to be adding these and this will be a constant now with any of the handmade products and a recommendation for anybody that's bought them or has wood products that you acquire some pressure treated wood and add that to the feet of the coop. Now you can see it's pre-drilled. The reason being is this could split pretty easily. If not, okay, and once it's there, it's not going anywhere. But just that added to the feet will guarantee that this structure doesn't rot. Now for any of you that say, well I don't have to worry, I have mine up on cement blocks, you need to get pressure treated wood and put that between the cement block and the wood. The concrete will draw the moisture out of the wood and increase uh, the dry rot in the wood. It'll actually, concrete will rot the wood quicker so you need to separate the wood from the concrete. And again, best way to do it, pressure treated wood. Concrete blocks are flat, water sits on top of them, goes into the wood, the concrete dries and pulls it back out and that constant in and out of water will destroy the wood very quickly. Of course on the ground uh, it's not going to last long if it's not treated wood. So, and this is the most vulnerable point. Nobody paints the feet. Come on. You know, flip the thing upside down and paint the feet so the wood is unprotected. Um, adding this block ensures that our products are still going to be around in 20 years. Um, and by the way, I've had recommendations, several obviously, that I should make our plans um, available in PDF uh, that people could buy. And I do appreciate um, the ideas, but as far as for me, information is free and will remain free if I have it. So I like to help people. If I can give you a tip that helps you out, that's great. I have some value in, the, in this world. Uh, okay, so I do that. And second of all, we use a lot of reclaimed wood. Now you can see the wood is nice. I've cut it. It's, I'm not giving you a piece of crap. Uh, I'm taking the best out of the middle of the junk that people throw away to do this. So what I make is probably equal to or less than minimum wage. But what are some of you doing right now? Uh, wondering if you're going to be able to get more unemployment? Uh, I'm not worrying about that. Kids are fed, everybody's happy, the lights are on, nobody's living large, but we're doing something good. We're reusing stuff that was wasted and we're teaching people as we go. So much love, many thanks for the support. Check out the website, masterofmanythings.com, for all sorts of reasons. Fukushima and more, handmade products. Uh, that page is set up now to take deposits, so if you're in driving distance of Battletown, Kentucky, or even Louisville, we will drive out to Louisville. We've done it once for a fellow from Ohio. Uh, came all the way over to Louisville to buy one of our chicken tractors, and that was an honor. So anyway, uh, we'll work with you. Check out the website. Much love and thanks, and uh, pressure-treated wood. Go get a little bit.